Hey there, my Stampin' friends. It is Movie Monday time. Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen here, and every Monday I am on YouTube with a new video for you, a nice little video tutorial. It's called Movie Monday. So hopefully you guys will subscribe to my channel. It's very easy to do, just subscribe below, and that way anytime I am, I am posting a video, you guys will get notification every single Monday. I'm here for you. So just a couple quick reminders. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Pennsylvania, and it is uh, celebration time, guys. So if you do not have a current demonstrator that you work with and you do not have our new holiday mini catalog or our celebration, message me and I will get you a free copy right away. So, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I'm recovering from a little bit of a cold I had, so my voice is going to be a little bit scratchy. I might have some, some coughs along the way, so please, please forgive me. So I wanted to let you know that we are going to play with one of the free items from Celebration this time around. We have two a year. That's abnormal for us. We've never done that. Totally new. We're going to play with these adorable sheep and the sheep dies. Are they not the cutest little guys right there? So I have um, a fun project to share with you today. But first, while you're here, I want to just do a couple quick reminders. This is September's Paper Pumpkin Kit. It is treats that can be fall or uh, Halloween. And we have this really beautiful box that actually is a craft. So this box will turn into a really cute little wheelbarrow that you could put your treats in, a little paper wheelbarrow, or car cardboard, I guess it is. So right now, through September 10th, you are able to subscribe and make sure that you get this kit. Now, I love to share this during celebration because if you decide to do a prepaid kit, which would be a three month, six month, or 12 month subscription, you will get a celebration item for free. So there's a couple different ways to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin. If you're interested, just let me know and I can help you out. The other thing I wanna share is always you're right, you're able to shop online. So you're doing this, you are just going to hop on over to Jody Breckbill, stamp, Jody Breckbill .stampinup net, and this is the host code for the month. You'll put this in at checkout. My tongue is tied this morning. I must not have spoken to many people. I know some don't like to shop online, and that's totally cool. Uh, you can message me uh, and order any single time. Okay, so this will be the uh, host code for the end uh, or for the rest of August. But if your order is 150 or more, you're going to be a host, so you don't want to use a code. Okay, you're going to take the host credit. All right, let's see. We are going to play with the cute Halloween designer series paper today. Now we're going to play with it a little different because we're not going to use it for Halloween. Sorry, I had to make some room here so I can play with my goodies. <clears throat> so you'll notice that we've got really cute little Halloween patterns. This is absolutely adorable. It's a nice little six by six paper stack. But when you flip the other side over, you have black and white. So we're going to focus on some of that. So we're going to use cute Halloween. And as I mentioned, we are going to use the counting sheep stamp set from Celebration. This is totally free with a $50 purchase. And then of course, we've got the very cool dies that go with it. They are free also uh, with a $50 purchase. So um, I'm asked a lot about my card or my magnets that I use for my die, my die storage and these come from Stampin' Storage and I am an affiliate so if you would like to check out some uh, really really cool storage ideas whether it be the magnetic cards or uh, ink pad storage, paper storage, ribbon storage, blend storage. Um, if you are a crafty person in of any shape or size or sort you want to check out Stampin' Storage. So go over there, check them out. And like I said, I am an affiliate, so you can you can uh, grab my link. I can get it to you and um, uh, use my affiliate link when you shop online. So that is where I get them, and they are amazing. Both the company and the magnet sheets. All right, so here's today's craft. Um, I did things a little bit different because I use note cards. I didn't use our traditional standard card size. I made this cute little box 
and it holds note cards. Now you could use the pre-packaged note cards and envelopes that we have. They are white and you absolutely could do that to make this even faster and easier, but I wanted pops of color. So I'm gonna show you how to create this super cute little box and it ju you're just gonna slide the belly band down I just put hand lotion on. Oh my goodness. What a good idea. Put hand lotion on and then do your crafts. So this little lid flips open and there's all your little cute note cards. Okay. So like I said, you could use the pre pre-made ones or you could make your own, which is what I did so that I had um, some color. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to make our first card and it is going to be pale papaya. So let's see if I have everything. I did a lot of stuff ahead of time for you guys so that you didn't have to watch me um, <clears throat> do die cutting and coloring and all that kind of stuff. So to make your note card, you are going to take a piece that is, I totally forget. Let's measure it. I know what the, the um, finished, finished size is. So it is seven inches by five inches, and then you're going to score at three and a half seven by five score at three and a half and that makes you a nice little note card now of course you could have you could make your own envelope you could put this into a regular standard uh, card size envelope or the note card the pre-packaged note cards and envelopes those envelopes fit so you could use those uh, and you would have white envelopes all right then we have oh my goodness do i not have my white panel i don't where to go it's funny how I bring everything over here and then I totally lose it. I lost my, I had a little pink flag. Son of gun. Oh, here's my flag. Okay, there we go. All right, good job, good job, good job. All right, I'm gonna have to grab a piece of white. So hang on one sec. Apologies, guys. I don't know where it went. So you do need a white panel right here, and that's just going to be a quarter size down. So what does that become? Four and three quarters by three and one quarter. All right. So now <clears throat> it's going to go this way, and I'm going to use my silicone sheet so that I don't get sticky on my table, and I'm going to take a strip of that really cool black glimmer. It's back, we had it last year, and it retired for a little bit. Well, I should say it didn't retire, it went on hiatus. And I'm just going to run a strip of that black glimmer right across there. And you'll notice that it's sticking off on the ends. That's okay, we'll just trim that down. So I grab my paper snips here and I'm just gonna cut off whatever is hanging off the edge. So black glimmer paper did come back, which I was super excited about. I loved it and I missed it through this last year. All right, so now in this corner here, I'm gonna add some designer series paper from that paper stack, that little cute Halloween. So I'm just going to put some dia or some adhesive in there. I've got a piece here. It's the one that has the little skeletons on it. And I'm just going to butt that right up to the edge of my glimmer paper. And again, do the same exact thing. And I'm just going to cut it off. Oh my goodness. I'm having trouble seeing because my... I can't tell if that's where the paper is or if it's the end, it's just a, the corner. I do have my glasses on even. The bifocal babes know exactly what I'm talking about. Some days it's easier to see than others. All right, now let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment. So you can see here, I stamped my little sheepy ahead of time and <clears throat> we'll do you're amazing. How about that? Because you totally are. There we go. And that's it. So I stamped him in memento, did a little bit of color color with my uh, smoky, sm smoky slate blends, and then gave him a cut. 
Also, I cut out a die here from one of my favorite sets, the Hippos. So I have yet to put any ink on the Hippo stamp set, but daggone, do I use these labels all the time. So that's where that one is from. Cut that out ahead of time in papaya. And then of course, in the bundle, we also have this cute little flag. So he's your little cheerleader sheep telling you how amazing you are. <clears throat> okay, now we're gonna grab some of our black and white gingham ribbon. Isn't that beautiful? This is in the holiday catalog as well. And so versatile, it would not, de it definitely does not need to be used. It, could be, or, um, it can be used for Halloween, it can be used for Christmas. Obviously I'm using it for this card because black and white is so versatile. The other great thing is it can be colored. So it could be black and whatever color you want. You could color it with um, some ink. Uh, and, a, and a sponge dauber, or you could do your blends. I love coloring it with the blends, so that's very cool. All right, so let's get some adhesive on here, and then we're gonna wrap a little bit of that ribbon around our card. So it's just gonna go right here, right where that seam of glitter paper is. I'm just gonna tack that around the back side. Is it going to stay? Oh, my nose is going to start running. Perfect timing. Every movie, I get a runny nose. It's like it knows nose. All right, so there we go. We're just going to cover up that little seam. And this guy's sticking off a little bit, so we'll trim that down. I don't want it sticking out the end of my card. I always like to put a little bit of seal on the ends just so that ribbon behaves itself. And let's do a little, oh my goodness, is my bone folder missing? It sure is. It's always in my special little pot I have here. Oh, it's hiding. Oh, it's okay. It's a little shy this morning, huh? All right, so here we go. Let me put that there. Oh, I'm coming down off camera a little bit. There we are. Cute, right? Super cute. So of course we need some pop dots, pop tarts as we like to call them in my studio. Put a couple of those on here for dimension. Then we'll add our little sheepy sheep, and then I'm going to show you how to do <clears throat> the rest uh, or the little cute gift box. There we are. Now I have a glue dot here, a little mini glue dot, and I'm going to put that on my little sheep paw. Is that what he has? Does he have a paw? No, he has a, he'd have a hoof, right? Sheep paws. Oh my goodness. Must be early. All right. He's going to hang on to the little flag and I looks like we can put a dimensional behind the flag. That's perfect. Do we have a mini dimensional? Here's a little piece of a dimensional that might work. I don't need a whole one because I don't want it to stick, stick off there some adhesive. Come on, Rolly. There we go. Peel that off. Oh, sheepy, you're so cute. Oh, sheepy, you're so cute. Oh, never mind. Don't do that. Now the Mickey song is in my head. Any of my 80s friends out there? Eek. All right, I will not, I should never, never, never sing to you guys on a video. That I shouldn't sing to you in real life either because I can't sing, but it sure did pop in my head. All right, so now that um, I did that in polished pink, so I went ahead and grabbed some of the In Color Jewels, and I'm gonna put a couple little jewels on here for some pop of color. And, oh, let's put one in our little flag. There we go. Now, on my original one, I did put a bow, and I'm not sure I want to on this one. I don't want to add more than I needed. So see on this one, I have my sheep set back a little bit, so I did add a little bow here, but I think I might leave this one plain, because if I put a bow 
I could put a bow here, but I don't want it to detract from his little, his little flag. So you could add one or not add one. Dealer's choice. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna make myself some room here because I'm done with my stamps. And I need to bring in this big mamma jamma here. Oh, my dog's all upset this morning. Okay, so let's see what we have here to create our cute little box. We have got a piece of Highland Heather. This is six by five and three quarters, six inches by five and three quarters. We're gonna score that one. Then we have a piece of Highland Heather that is 10 and one quarter by three and three quarter. We have that one. Then we have a piece of Highland Heather that is 10 by one and one quarter. This is the little belly band. This is the box. This is the flap, okay? So let's go ahead and do a little bit of scoring. And on, <clears throat> so we'll do the base first. We're gonna put the five and three quarter side at the top. Okay, so remember we had a six inch side and we have a five and three quarter. So we're gonna put our five and three quarter at the top and we are going to score it at one inch on both ends. So we're gonna do one inch and I'm gonna turn it and do one inch. Now I'm gonna turn, now I've got the longer side, it's a, at the top, the six inch side, and I'm gonna score at two and a half and three and a half. Okay, that'll make our box. Now, while I have my score tool here, I'm gonna score my, my little flap. Okay, so as I said, this one is 10 and a quarter by three and three quarter, and I'm gonna score at five and a quarter and six and a quarter, okay? So that's all we need for that. While I'm here, I'm gonna show you that I do have two pieces of that DSP, that Cutie Halloween, and this one is three and three quarter by three and a half, three and three quarter by three and a half. This one is three and a half by two and a quarter three and a half by two and a quarter, okay? So we'll use those in a minute. Now I like to always use my bone folder. And I don't know if you guys know, <clears throat> it's a little rule of thumb that will help you. Um, so when you do a score, there's a side, see this one is kind of raised toward me. So this is raised up, this side is indented. So I fold on the indented side because this has gone, like I've put the groove in there and it has kind of started to break the fiber a little bit. So that is how I fold. And, and it does make a little bit of a difference. It really, really does because the fibers are already, already started to break and it just kind of um, lends itself to folding that way. So that is, ooh, it's a wet spot. So that's how I do. The indented side, I fold away from me. Just a little tip for a uh, movie Monday. And I find that when I really burnish these scores with my bone folder, it makes them easier to see, which in turn for me makes, them, makes it easier to cut. So we've got these right here. This is going to be our box and we need to free up these little flaps down here. So we're just gonna cut right up to that score line we just made. And another little tip on a Monday is to kind of wedge these flaps, okay? So I just do a little bit of an angle when I cut them so that they're not so bulky when we try to put our box together. And that does help as well. Anytime you make a make a box, think about wedging your flaps. Doesn't have to be much, just a little bit of an angle. All right, there we are. So you can see how now our box is going to come together. So while it's flat, I find it easier to go ahead and glue your designer paper on because it's not flapping around on you. It's not a 3D item just yet. So I'm going to go ahead and 
put that down there. So there's my front. It looks, am I straight? I feel like I'm not quite straight, but that's okay. And we'll do it on this one as well. Now you could totally turn this into a cute Halloween project just by flipping your, flipping your papers around, but we're using it with a sheep. So we're going to use the, the uh, not so Halloween-y side. Okay. So that one's ready to go. Now, because I put my paper on and I'm particular, I want this to go to the back, okay? I don't wanna see my seam of my box coming to the front. So I like to use my Stampin' Seal Plus, or you could use um, Tombow Green Glue or maybe even Tear and Tape, but I'm just gonna put some, some uh, Stampin' Seal on these little flaps. That's gonna come up like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna put some on this side because that's gonna go towards the back. And it has a nice, strong adhesive. And you need that when you're making 3D boxes. You definitely need to have a good, strong adhesive because you don't want it to come apart on you and all your little goodies fall out. That would never be good. We can't lose our goodies. All right, there we are. And then that's just gonna flap to the back like so. Put you back in there. And there we are, little box, right? The little base box for all your cards to fit in. Then what I did is I just took this and I stuck it in the back. Now you could glue it down if you wanted to. You could probably glue it right here if you wanted to to make it permanent, but I just stuck it right in there if it's perfect. Okay, so now the next step for this is you're gonna take your belly band. And I found, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm so sorry. I found it a little bit easier to have all the cards in my box because it gave it some stability to make that belly band. So let's take these out and we'll put all the cards in the empty box so that I can run my belly band around there. And I, you can measure the scores if you choose to. Why can't I get you out? Doesn't wanna come out. There we are. It's being particular this morning. So let's put all these cards in here. Put our little yellow card in there too, our papaya card. So it gives it some shape. And you're going to just kind of eyeball the center, right? doesn't really matter because they're gonna it's gonna overlap just a little bit so if you wanted to you could definitely put score lines in but I just went around and made the flap you know I made the fold I guess I should say so I'm gonna do a little bone fold I just had it kids oh there we go so I'm just gonna bone fold that so it's nice and crisp there's my other one because sometimes, I don't always measure because sometimes the measurement is weird, like it's not an exact measurement. Okay, so there we go. And then this is gonna come around here, fold and fold. And you don't want it too tight because you, you need to slide it. So you don't wanna have it be like super, super tight that you can't move it and get your cards out. And there's the last one. So let's, okay, there's a tiny, tiny little bit of overlap. So I'm gonna take that seal plus and roll that right down there. That's the only place you want adhesive or else your box won't open. And just meet them in the middle. So you'll see there's a little bit of of adhesive sticking out there on the side, no big deal, because we've got our little label to come in on that. So I did these with the hippo, so we've got the Highland Heather. Here's a piece cut with the uh, Cute Halloween. I did a little heart punch out of our ombre glimmer paper, which, so this is the darker purple, there's lights and darks, and I'm gonna use some pop dots on that. <clears throat> Excuse me. A couple dimensionals. Here we go. 
then more dimensionals. So we're going to pop up our sheep. Oops. Oh, I forgot something, but that's okay. I think I'm going to let it go. I was going to put a little bit of ribbon around there. I did that on my original, Ooh. but forget it. I'm not taking it apart. Ain't no big deal, kids. We'll be fine. Now on here, I'm going to do some dimensionals too. And I'm just going to put a dimensional right there, a little added um, support there to keep that belly band together. And I'm going to stick that back on my box. Slide it up. Okay, take them off, take them off, take them off, take them off. And we'll add our little label. Right, like that. Now, there, I do want to keep the pop of color because I, uh, you know, that pop of black and white. So let's let's tie ourselves a little bow here. I may have just cut this too short. We'll see how I do. See if my fingers want to work with me this morning. Futs around a little bit. Fiddle, fiddle. Yeah, make ourselves a cute little bow. Add that with a glue dot. I'll just put that right here. Trim my edges down. And you can see our cute little box for note cards. Is that not adorable? Do you love it? Yes! All right, so let's see what else we created. Oh my goodness, my whole little belly band is coming off with my flapper. We don't want that. Okay, so here's my cards. We just created this one, right, in the pale papaya. Then I did this one with polished pink. Highland Heather. Can you hear my dog grumbling? Oh my gosh. Just Jade and Bermuda Bay. Love them. Eek, so cute. So now this would be a great little gift to give to somebody. Put some envelopes in there and now they would have a cute little gift. You know, you could give it to somebody and then they have some cards to send. You can use them for yourself, you know, whatever works for you. But that is my adorable little sheep. All right, my friends, thank you guys so much for joining me for Movie Monday. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There might be a little bell that comes up and if you click that bell, that's your notifications. So you can click that. So anytime I have a movie that comes on YouTube, it will alert you and let you know. So thank you so much guys. And if you, you might be seeing this on Facebook as well. And uh, make sure that you join my mailing list so that you never miss any of the fun. All right guys, have a wonderful week and I will see you next week for Movie Monday.